Welcome to ESI's eHealth. This video covers eConsole, and we're going to take a look at messages or voicemails and how you access those and use those through the portal. Okay, I have logged in here as Wendy Terry, Extension 1004. She is a premier user, but the same would apply to any user logging into the portal. And over to the left, we have our different selections, and you notice here that um, just underneath home is messages. And there's actually different kinds of messages that you can receive other than voicemail, and we'll take a look at that. But notice here, right off the top, it'll tell you that you have four, that's a badge, and that four is meaning you have four new voicemails. So I can click in here, or if I wanted to, I could actually on my homepage access my most recent um, new messages. So here I have where the call came from, the caller ID, and then the date and time and the duration. From this view, I can play this message straight from my PC, or I can click here to uh, play or click to play. That means when I click this, and we'll go ahead and do this here, I'm gonna click this. You should hear my phone ring. I'm gonna answer that, and when I do, it's gonna start playing that voicemail message from my phone. That is the difference between a call to play and just strictly playing straight out of your PC. I can also forward this message to another extension. I can download it as a WAV file and then share that like you would any other WAV file. I can also mark it as save, or, um, which is save as old, and then I can delete it from here. Okay, so let's go over to the messages tab. And here you see the same view. And if you wanted to access your old messages, you could go here to saved, which I don't have any, or you could go to trash, which I also don't have any. So how, um, let's make some changes to see how that would look. So this voicemail message, um, maybe I already know I've listened to it or it's just not something I'm interested in. So let's go ahead and click delete. Notice you have a notice up here that says it moved to trash. Let's take this one as an example and say I already listened to it, but I wanna mark it as saved. Fine, so I go over here to saved. Now I have that saved message. And if I go over here to trash, I have this trash message. Now notice here that the trash is empty daily. So that means that once it's emptied, you can't get that message back. So if you think that you move something to trash, make sure you go, in, go into the trash folder and get it there immediately so you can set this back to save. You can never set a voicemail message from old to new or trash to new. Once you're in those two um, spaces, you can only set this to save. And so if we go over here to saved, same thing. Now I have two messages, but notice over here, I can't set these back to new. There's no way to do that. Okay, um, but your new and your saved messages um, stay in here essentially forever until you decide to delete them and then it's purged after a day. Okay, um, but you can also download um, the messages. You can obviously delete them. You can forward them, play them from here. And even if you went over, let's delete this one again. Let's go back to trash. You can still go over here and forward this and download it, assuming that you get to the trash bin before it's purged from the system. Okay, so let's go back over here to new that we have two left. Now, if you notice, there's actually more going on in this screen than just voicemails. So if you look up here, there's a chat tab, and I'm gonna go over this in more detail later, but I want you to see that this is where you get your chat messages or a place where you can see your chat messages. Um, look for the video about chat and we'll go over that in detail. All right, then the other important selection here is settings. So this is where you make all your voicemail settings. And this should actually be set up for you by the time that you get your system um, and your eCloud services turned up. But if you ever wanna change these or make sure that they're done, it's actually really important that this tab be completed as soon as possible so that you make sure messages are getting to you correctly. So of course your voicemail is enabled or you wouldn't even see this information here you can make some various selections on uh, either how you want your voicemail sorted when you go into your inbox, whether it's this view or what is playing back from your phone. You can also announce the voicemail. So when I go to play the voicemail, it would announce and say, this voicemail was received at you know, 2.35 p.m. And then announcement of the caller ID, same thing. If I had both of these selected and the voicemail played back, it would say this voicemail was received at 2.35 p.m. by 
Julia at 214-555-1234, whatever, and play back your caller ID. Um, that way, especially if you're playing it through your phone, if it's not something that you want to listen to, maybe you already know that's a, like a spam voicemail call or whatever, you can tweet ahead of time without having to sit there and wait and listen to the thing till the end. Okay, so let's go over greetings. Again, these are two very important pieces for your voicemail that you'd want to have set up. So let's click on record name. I can tell here because there's no record button, there's no indication that I actually have my name recorded or my voicemail greeting, which is kind of bad. So let's go ahead and set that up. So when I click on record name, it's going to ask me to either upload a file or record a name. Nine times out of 10, nobody has an upload uh, or a saved away file. You're just going to record it. And then what you do is you're going to tell the system here, hey, when I go to record this, I want you to call me at my extension because what's going to happen is my phone is going to ring. Then I'm going to answer it. And then you'll hear a prompt that says record your name at the tone and press pound. So let's just go through the motions on that. So let's call. You can hear my extension and I'm going to go speaker. Start recording at the tone and press pound when finished. Wendy Terry. Thank you. Okay, so thank you, and it hangs up automatically. And so I am going to say done. I could click try again if maybe I've flubbed and I wanted to record it again, that's totally fine. So here I have my recorded name. I can play it back. I can download it if I did want to save it for later and upload it. And I can also manage that by again, going in and just re-recording the whole thing over again. Okay, so let's do voicemail greeting. It's the same exact way. You're just doing a greeting now instead of just your name. So I don't have anything to upload. So I'm going to record. I'm going to have this call at extension 1004. And I'm actually going to give this greeting a name. So depending on your role, especially salespeople um, find this very helpful. You may have various greetings. A greeting that's your main greeting, maybe one that you're out on vacation, maybe one while you're in meetings or certain things are going on during the day that you want to play a special greeting to the people calling you. And that's why you want to give it a name so that you can flip through those greetings as you go. All right. So, and I'll show you how that works. So let's go ahead and call. You can hear my phone ringing. Start recording at the tone and press pound when finished. Hello, this is Wendy Terry. You have reached me at extension 1004. Please leave me a message. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. All right, so I recorded that and we have our main greeting. Now let's go ahead and add a greeting so I can show you how that works. So let's do another greeting, extension 1004, and let's say um, this is for let's do vacation. All right, so my phone is ringing. Answer. Start recording at the tone and press pound when finished. Hi, thanks for calling Wendy Terry at extension 1004. I happen to be on vacation this week and will be back on Monday XXX, whatever that day Thank is. You. All right, so we've recorded that. All right, before we do that though, let's do our unified communication. So remember that in our profile screen, we entered our email address. If I want to use that email address for unified communications, I would, which is Again, when a voicemail is left for your extension, you're going to get an email with an attachment if that's what you select. So I can have that email sent with just a hyperlink um, to my email address. I can say uh, send with an attachment and leave the voicemail as new attachment, but move that message to saved on the system. Send that message as attached, but go ahead and just delete it out of the system, right? So then I don't have to listen to it through my um, email but then go back either through eConsole or my phone and then save it as old or move it to trash. So we'll just go ahead um, and make a selection. Now, I don't have a real um, email address associated with Wendy Terry because it's a fake email address, but you'll end up getting an email from ESI and it's like any other email. Um, if you're using this, always make sure you check your spam first in case they're trying to get blocked, but it will have an attachment to it. It's a WAV file. You click on it, it downloads it, and you play it from your PC. It's an extremely popular feature. Okay, um, we do not have, um, if you have voicemail tr transcription set up, your um, office manager would actually be the one that would enable that for you because it's a chargeable feature. Um, but if so, this would be um, selected for you already. Okay, so let's go ahead and click save. 
Okay, so we now see that the voicemail greeting shows up here. And again, if I wanted to make a change between my main greeting and my vacation greeting, I would simply make that selection so that when people call me, they'll hear my vacation greeting as opposed to my main greeting. And just like the record name, at any time you can play back if you wanna remember what it is you said, um, or download it, the greeting, and upload it later if you need it for future greeting. And then you can click on manage and just uh, either delete, redo, add more greetings. You can change those at any time. And always remember, you wanna click save. In fact, I'm gonna change this back to main now that I'm in here and click save. And then I'm gonna go back home. All right, that's it for your messages and how you manage your greetings. Uh, thank you and be sure to check out our other videos on eHealth. Thank you.